The six officially listed meteorite that found in the Philippines. Life is full of magical moments and among those is witnessing a shooting star. Many of us had the chance of seeing it and whispered wishes and dreams we hope to come true, and others have yet to experience it. While it is called a shooting star, that chance encounter doesn't really involve a star. Stars are floating celestial bodies made of gas. The shooting star, however, is a space rock that passes through our atmosphere and becomes a fireball that is known as a meteorite. In the country of Philippines there are six meteorites officially listed in the global database, and number one of our list is Bondok Meteorite Bondok Meteorite has a wonderful and great story from its initial discovery to its recovery from the tropical jungles of the Bondok Peninsula in Kazan Province. It was first presented to Dr. Harvey Nininga, an expert in meteorite studies, by the Philippine Bureau of Mines and was initially being thought of as just a large piece of native iron. Nininga took the great challenge of plucking the huge piece in the middle of the forest using carabaos and bulldozers. Some Filipinos ventured into the site and were also being able to find some smaller pieces that were left. The classification of Bondok meteorite is a stony iron and is a rare one comprising only of 1.0% of the known fall. But because of its huge size it has been cut into several pieces and is still widely available to collectors even today. Number 2. Calivo Meteorite On the afternoon of May 26, 1916, a 2.4 kg meteorite fell in Tinagao, Calivo, now Calibo, Panay Island, Philippines. Known as the Calivo Meteorite, this is included in international books on meteor astronomy such as the photo from the catalogue of meteorites by Monica M. Grady. Number 3. Orconuma Meteorite It is one of the six meteorites from the Philippines listed in the Meteoritical Society's Bulletin Database. Classified as an H34 chondrite, this space rock is one of the first solid materials to form from the earliest days of our solar system, about 4.6 billion years ago. The turnover was attended by geologist Aubrey Weimark, who facilitated the donation from owners John Higgins and Jasper Spencer. Three Filipino farmers, Fredo Manzano, Edgar Francisco Sr. and Enrico Camacho Jr. witnessed the fall of the 7.8 kg meteorite. They took care of the meteorite after it landed on the field in Barangay Orconuma, Bongabong, Oriental Mindoro on March 7, 2011. Number 4. Payton Meteorite, Fall of the Payton, Philippines, Stony Meteorite. Name, Payton Place of Fall, Payton, 5 km SSE of Cabugao, north of Vigan, Province Ilocos Sur, Luzon, Philippines. Date of Fall, May, 1910, recognized 1986 class and type, stone. Olivine Bronzite Chondrite, H6. Olivine FA18. Number of individual specimens, 1 total weight, 515.8 grams. Circumstances of fall, one first sized stone was found some weeks after the sighting of a bright fireball. The stone was kept for about 75 years as a family charm. Number 5. Pampanga Meteorite, the Pampanga L5 meteorite fell in central Luzon, Philippines, on the 5th of April 1859. A total mass of 10.5 kilograms was recovered. According to the museum staff that the Pampanga meteorite was taken to Europe by the some Spaniards. Number 6. Pantar meteorite. This meteorite fell on June 16, 1938. Ordinary chondrite, polemic brexiated H5, bridge, S4, W0, 2.23 kg. Accompanied by a dust cloud. The Pantar Belide led to the recovery of approximately 16 stones including one which was recovered from a rice paddy at a depth of, 1 meter. In addition, there were numerous reports of very small particles falling on roofs in the moments following the main events. Compositionally, bulk iron contents 26.47 Wt% Fe, and olivine Fa18, a characteristic of the H. Chondrite geochemical group. Mineralogically the meteorite consists primarily of olivine and orthopyroxin with minor plagioclase, troilet, and fey knee metal. Accessory chromite, and other very minor opics, including free copper, are found. Thank you for watching, please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this.